Hello, everybody. This is your daily real estate ex practice exam question. Whew, a little tongue tied already. So let's jump into it because this was a seemingly simple one, but I did want to explain this a little bit. I wanted to get back into contract law. So the question states, a contingency in a sale contract is, let's define a contingency. So and a contingency is basically um, something that we say, okay, if this does not happen, this isn't satisfied, then the contract is going to be not happening. So on the non-occurrence or occurrence of something happening, then basically what happens is you're going to have the contract basically be unenforceable. So let's take a look and see what, quite, what answers we have. So based on me explaining a contingency a little bit just now, we're going to say, A, a promise by a buyer or seller to perform a specific action. So that's actually just one side of the contract. So a buyer will promise one thing, a seller will promise to do another thing. So that isn't a contingency. B, a condition that if unmet, renders the contract unenforceable. Oh, super like that one. Let's see C. C, one of several alternative actions that a buyer or seller may take to satisfy contract agreements. Uh, contract requirements. So basically, it's like you could go down path one or path two, and both would satisfy the contract. That's not a contingency. Okay. If something is contingent on something occurring or something happening, okay, then what happens is that wouldn't be it. And I'm going to give you some examples of contingencies as well. Okay. So let's go to D first and make sure that D is not a better answer than B because so far B is the winner. D, an optional unilateral action that either party may take at the request of the other party. No, that is definitely not it. I'm going to cross that right out. The answer is definitely B. Okay. So let me give you a couple of examples of contingencies that you might have in a contract. So a typical one is going to be that of a uh, home sale contingency where the buyer, the purchaser, needs to sell their home in order to purchase this home, okay? Now, that comes with typically a kickout clause to protect the seller, so everyone would agree go into contract or escrow. And then what will happen is if the buyer does not sell their home, they do not have to perform on the contract, so they wouldn't be in breach because, again, the contingency has not been satisfied. It has not been met. Okay. Another one is going to be that of obtaining financing if there's financing involved. So if for whatever reason the borrower or buyer cannot obtain financing and gets turned down for financing, okay, then they're not forced to go home to go forward with the purchase. They're not going to be sued for being a breach of contract. They won't be able to be sued for specific performance of that contract. So those are just a couple of examples. Uh, on the seller side, you could actually have a home purchase contingency. So if the seller has not found a home yet, then what happens is they might say, we're going to have a relocation contingency, basically saying we are actively looking. However, this contract will not go through if we do not find a property. Okay, so they're not bound to sell their home if they don't find something. Okay, so that's just a couple of examples of contingency. And also, again, B, that's your answer. Hope you like this one, guys. Again, hit subscribe, hit like, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>